Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about my personal experience of going to a boot camp. So what went well, what didn't go well, how much I paid, what I learned and was it worth the money I paid. And then finally to wrap up this video, I'll be giving you a few tips to look out for when choosing which boot camp to go to. So something to make clear at the start of the video is I went through the boot camp twice um, for the first three months I paid and then I managed to get a job um, in particular an apprenticeship which meant I had to do another three months of training as part of the apprenticeship program so in this video I will just be talking about my experience of the first three months because that's a true reflection of the boot camp so what went well at the boot camp Firstly, the amount of technologies I was exposed to while at the boot camp. Now, this was great for me because if you look at it, when I joined the boot camp, we went through JavaScript for the first two weeks. We went straight into code, which was great. And then we learned HTML, CSS, React.js, um, and then backend development with Node.js, and then databases with Postgres, and finally iOS development. Another thing that went well was I was building projects from the get-go. So at the time, I was super confused on why I was starting to build projects straight away from the get-go. And the main reason for this was I still had the college mentality of learning something and then putting it into practice. But we started building many projects, learning a bit and then putting it into practice, which was a great thing looking back at it because I was getting stuck in um, learning from my mistakes and actually researching how to do something and at that time I was even researching how to do a for loop so you know if you're out there and starting to learn to code it's literally normal. So them two things were the ones that stood out to me personally in terms of my personal experience of going to a boot camp and um, so what didn't go well? Personally for me and the first thing that comes to mind when someone asks me this is the lack of support. Now what you have to bear in mind is I went from sixth form to the boot camp, I didn't have a break in between. It was literally um, finish sixth from one day and then join boot camp the next day. So the lack of support actually hurt me because I was still in the mindset of if I was ever stuck, I could just go to one of my teachers, ask for that one to one support and then go back and ask um, any questions I had or anything like that. And they'd help me. Now at the boot camp, they will help you, but the, the one to one support isn't there all the time so that's something you've got to bear in mind another thing that comes to mind for me is the amount of time we spent studying each particular technology for me personally it felt the boot camp was rushed um, just to give you an idea of how rushed it was while we were learning react and bearing in mind react is quite a hard concept to actually understand when you're new to coding but we went through React around a week to two weeks it was. So that gives you the idea of how quick of a turnaround we go from each technology to another. So guys, that's a brief summary of what things went well and what didn't go well for me in terms of my personal experience of going to a boot camp. So now the big question is how much I paid for the boot camp. Now I paid £7,000 for the boot camp. Now I understand that this is a lot of money especially for a three months course. And I had a lot of questions in mind. I was doubting myself, especially at the age of 18. It was a lot of money, um, but I have to thank my dad. He helped me out, not only agreeing to let me go to a boot camp rather than um, going to university, but actually paying for it as well. And the only thing that um, I was looking at while you know, debating whether I should pay it or not is I was looking at how much it would cost me if I went to a university and got a job and if I went to a boot camp and got a job and going to a boot camp, it was only going to be a fraction of the amount. So that was kind of the deal breaker for me. Now, it was a lot of money, but was it all worth it? For me to answer this question today, it's quite difficult because I know that there are tons of free resources to actually learn to program. Um, but if I go back to 2019, where I had no knowledge of software development, I'd say it's totally worth it because there was uh, a core structure in place. I knew 
that I would be learning everything that is in demand in the industry and is needed and I was able to gain an apprenticeship which was my actual goal whether all that was worth the seven thousand pounds it's a difficult question to answer but looking back I would totally advise someone to look at all the free resources that are out there and try them out see if you can get a mentor uh, who'd help you out and then you know after that look at going to a big camp So what things should you look out for when you're looking at which boot camp to go to? Now firstly, speak to past graduates of the boot camp. Now you can do this by trying to find them on social media such as LinkedIn. Um, this is actually great because you'll get a true idea of what it was like, the whole boot camp and everything, and they'll hopefully give you uh, a true reflection of the boot camp. Secondly, go into the boot camp. You'll get a proper idea of what it's like and the way everything is taught ask them could i come in for one day just a trial or half a day i want to know your teaching style and everything like that and see if it actually suits um the way you like to be taught another thing that you should do is ask about the courses and why you should pick them now this will be ideal because if you put them on the spot and ask them about the courses about what they'll teach you and everything and if they can answer that on the spot it just means that the whole course is well structured and everyone knows that what's going on and what's getting taught. Another thing you should ask the bootcamp is how many graduates actually stay on or kept on at their job after 12 months. Now I mentioned this in my previous video as well. It's great that the graduates are getting hired within six months, but a true reflection of how good a bootcamp is, is that how many graduates are actually staying on after 12 months finally the most important thing is remember you're paying for the course this is just a thing to remember don't feel like oh i shouldn't ask this or i shouldn't ask that remember you can ask whatever you like or you want to know because at the end of the day you're paying them so guys i'm gonna wrap up the video here hope you found it useful um if you did let me know in the comments because i really appreciate some feedback um if you have any question regarding boot camps or anything to do with software development uh, comment them below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can and on that note i'll see you on the next one